Welcome to a very damp Centre Parks, Nottingham. Uh, it's Thursday the 17th and we're going home tomorrow, but I thought I'd just take the opportunity to do a quick video about this amazing setup they've got here, all these EV charge points. Uh, my car is just here and other EVs. There are some ICE vehicles because obviously some people can't read that it says reserved space, but hey ho, uh, they will learn eventually. But anyway, Lots of variety of EVs here. What I just want to highlight is, in the past, I've not been a favour of apps and RFID cards. You know, contactless payment, I think, is definitely the way forward, especially when it comes to rapids. But when it comes to fast chargers, and these all charge at seven kilowatts, I'm gonna tell you why I think this app-based system is absolutely spot on. So why do I think it is such a good idea? Well, so when you plug into these chargers, and I've seen people on social media where my good friend James of James and Kate posted images of this great setup at Centre Parks, Nottingham. And some people commented on Twitter, oh, there's a dirty great petrol diesel generator chugging away to charge your electric cars. That's not the case. Basically, the setup here with Centerpox and Rolex, who provide these uh, seven kilowatt chargers, is that you can plug them in and you can plug them in with an app and I'll show you how that works in a minute. But these will not start charging till 11 p.m. I will charge through the night till 6 a.m. using obviously very low demand electricity. So there's, it's not a stretch, it's not a strain on the local grid for centre parks. Now in the day you've got the swimming pool, you've got all the cafes, you've got you know the heating on in all the chalets which is still gas driven. Um, but, you know, that demand for electricity after 11pm at night, it's just not there. So what a great setup to have these charging at 11pm through to 6am. Now I started the charge on my e Nero uh, the first night we got here, but I didn't want to charge it to 100% because I was going to be here four days and long term that's not good for any EV to leave it at 100%. So, this charged after the first night up from 19%, I think, to 87%. So this morning I've just activated another charge for it to finish off tonight. So then tomorrow morning I'm going to have a good 280 mile range to start making way, my way back up home. So let me just describe to you now, I'm going to get in the car and uh, just show you how easy it was to set up the app. So here at Centre Parks in Nottingham, we have the Rolex chargers. Now you have to download an app called Vendelectric, which I did. And basically, if you go to your account, I put £50 on in credit and I used £19 something for the first 50 kilowatts, which charged this on the first night we got here, went from 19% up to 87%. And, and then it stopped because it hit seven o'clock in the morning. So the beauty of this is it charges when there's the least demand on the grid. And you can see there from my charges, and you can see it. So I spent £19.62 on the 14th of the 11th. Now it says 15 hours, 49 minutes. I wasn't charging for 15 hours, 49 minutes. I was plugged in for 15 hours 49 minutes, but I only received charge for those seven hours in that seven hour window. So I didn't want to leave it at 100% for three or four days because that's not good for electric vehicles and their batteries. So I ended the charge, which denotes the 15 hours 49 minutes. And then this morning I started the charge again. So I've got credit uh, on my account with Rolex and the car is waiting to receive the charge from the charger at 11 p.m. tonight, where it can charge up to 100% ready for my trip home tomorrow. So I really like this. I think it's a great app, uh, particularly for using fast chargers, Rolex fast chargers. As you can see there, <laughs> there's a fair few in the UK. Scotland's a little bit sparse. Uh, interestingly, Orkney has got two of these Rolex chargers to be paid for by the app, 
One is at uh, BBC Radio Orkney in town, and the other one is out at the airport, which is not used yet. So that's the advantage of uh, using this app. So I think this is pretty good. I'm very impressed with it, and well done Centre Parks. So just showing the Rolex charges, again there's a nice big fat sticker on there saying the charging will commence after 11pm and you can use the QR code to start a charge or pop in as I did, pop in that number and then you get a whole list of all the charge points that are here at Centre Parks in Nottingham. Now what Centre Parks do ask you to do is to reserve a spot which is what I did. I had Z, so it's row Z, number 11. I reserved a spot. Um, yeah, simplicity itself. I'm well impressed. So hats off to Centre Parks and Rolex. Never thought I'd say that, but this app system is spot on for off-peak charging. When there's very little demand on the grid, these charge happily, and I'm not going anywhere. Anyone who comes to visit Centre Parks, you're parking your car up here for well, if it's a midweek break, it's here for four nights. If it's a weekend break, it's three nights. So just spot on, ideal. So thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested in any of my other ramblings about EVs, just click on either of these two links to the side of my head.